What's up? Today we are hanging out in the salon and we are going to be talking about how to design your Instagram brand as a hairstylist or salon. And I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do this. So let's go. Right, guys this is something that I'm really excited to talk about honestly probably one of my favorite topics to talk about which is branding and we're gonna be talking about your Instagram brand and why it's so important and I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to set this up step by step so even if you've struggled with how to brand yourself in the past I'm gonna walk you through and make it really easy for you now how many times have you been on someone's Instagram and you're like what the heck like how does it look so cohesive how do all of their photos flow together and why do their stories look so good and how come their brand just looks so amazing how come I can't do that myself or maybe you feel like okay I kind of have my brand tackled but I'm not really sure and you're just missing a little piece well today's video is gonna be for you and even if you feel like Instagram really isn't your thing stay tuned because I promise you that this will help you even if you're not necessarily looking to brand your Instagram but you're looking just to create create a brand in general. So this is going to be a really quick video to get you down to the very key things that you need to have for your Instagram brand or just brand in general. And we're going to walk you through how to do that. So when we start talking about branding, your brand needs three key things. Number one, your brand elements. So this is things like the type of hair that you do, the type of services that you offer. This could also be the visual side of your brand. So things like different textures or different brand visuals elements such as cactus or palm trees or whatever that might look like for you. So I'm going to show you how I incorporate this into my feed and how I've done this throughout the past. And chances are, if you follow me on Instagram, you know what some of my brand elements are. So the first thing that you need is your brand elements. The second thing that determines your Instagram brand is your brand colors. And I'm going to walk you through a really easy way to find those exact colors and how we can incorporate those into your feed really easily. Easily. And the last thing that determines your brand is your brand fonts. And I'm also going to share with you an easy way to find really awesome fonts that are free. So stay tuned till the end because you're not going to want to miss that. Okay, so we are going to get started on creating your unique Instagram brand. I have my laptop with me here and I'm going to share with you a couple different softwares that are totally free that I use to help curate my brand. And one thing I want to know is this is something that I did back in the day when I was really building my clientele behind the chair and it not only helped me stand out from other stylists or salons in the area, but it really helped attract the right people to my Instagram page. So the right people were clicking the follow button and eventually turning into dream clients. So your Instagram brand is more important than just having a really pretty curated feed or really beautiful Instagram stories. It actually helps attract the dream clients to your page, which is why it's so important to make sure that this is set up. And it also gives you something to feel really proud of. So I think that this is going to be a really fun exercise size. So make sure that you're taking some notes because we're going to dive on in. Okay. So we are going to first dive into Pinterest. Now Pinterest is one of my favorite uh, softwares that I use all the time. And the reason why is because you can get so much inspiration and so many ideas from one place, but maybe you've been on Pinterest before and you're like, I haven't been able to find anything. Or when I try to go look for brand ideas or inspiration, nothing is there. So I'm going to share with you some easy ways to actually find brand ideas that you're going to like and help you find more inspiration photos. So I already set up a brand mood board here, but one thing that I like to do is I like to pick one element from my brand and I like to type it in with the word brand or brandy or the word aesthetic. So let's give an example here. We'll go to our homepage and I just want to type in a uh, cactus branding and see what comes up. So here we go. 
Let's type it in. And as you can see, a lot of really great things come up. So um, I've already pinned a few of these ideas, but um, I kind of like, let's see here, let's scroll down a little bit. Like I'm definitely getting some interesting vibes and there are definitely things in here that I don't like for me. Like this is not what I was thinking, but this is kind of a little bit more towards the general direction. So I actually think I saw something up here that I kind of was into. So I kind of like this. Um, it's not necessarily something that I love, but I like the idea of it. So. Um, um, what you can do, now that I found something that I like but I don't love, maybe I don't wanna save this to my mood board, but as you click on it, and you can do this also on the phone version too, is you can scroll down and it starts to show you other things that are similar to this vibe. So I'm kind of into this kind of stuff, um, and all I'm gonna keep doing is I'm just gonna keep scrolling around. So um, I think this is kind of interesting. And so let's say I like something, like maybe I really like this tile um, flooring or something like that, or I'm kind of into this. So once we find something that we like, I'm going to make sure that the mood board uh, brand is saved and then I'll just click save onto it. And then let's see here, maybe I still like that. So I'm gonna click into that and see, maybe there's some other stuff here that is kind of that idea. So I'm just gonna keep scrolling around until I find some more things that I like. Another thing you can try searching is the word you're wanting to brand, like one of your brand elements, and the word aesthetic. And this is also really helpful because it gives you kind of a good idea. So as you can see here, we've got a lot of aesthetic looking photos, but this also just kind of helps get you into that mood kind of vibe. So um, I'm seeing some stuff here that I might like to pin. Another thing I'm gonna try is maybe not using that exact word, like the word cactus, but maybe we find something similar. So what about the word desert branding? I spelled it wrong. <laughs> All right, desert branding. Let's see what comes up for this. Ooh, I'm really liking this. So I kind of like this. I'm gonna save that to my mood board because I think that's kind of interesting. And this is also kind of interesting, so we'll save that. And I like this as well. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of keep typing around. And again, um, here's another thing that I think is really cool, so we'll save it. But I also wanna see what else comes up. Okay, now I think that we're definitely getting on the right track of what I'm looking for. Here's something that I think is really cool, so let's save that. And as I start to just kind of look around, I'm gonna be able to find a lot more things. So I would encourage you to start to search for some ideas of things that you like. It doesn't have to be cactus, it doesn't have to be desert, it can be whatever you like. So maybe one of your favorite colors is rose gold, so rose gold branding. Or maybe some of your favorite colors is turquoise, turquoise branding, uh, beachy branding, or whatever that might look like, succulent branding. And I just want you to start to kind of poke around and I guarantee that as you keep looking, you're gonna find more stuff that you love. Okay, so I'm feeling really good about kind of the little brand mood board that I put together and I just put this together really quickly. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to find one of these photos and I'm going to click into it and I'm going to save this image onto my computer or even onto your phone. Now, this next software that I'm gonna share with you, it's a free software, but it does work best on the desktop version of a computer, but there also is a mobile version as well, so you can check that out, it just looks a little bit different. So I'm going to save that picture to my computer, and then we're gonna go over to Adobe Color. So if you just Google Adobe Color, it'll come up, and when you first open it up, it looks like this, but we're gonna go over to the Extract Theme. And what you can see is it's going to allow me to drag and drop a file. So I'm going to go find that photo that I just saved to my computer, click open, and bam, as you can see as I upload this photo, it curates a color palette for me. So this is actually really exciting because if you find a photo that kind of has your brand aesthetic, but you're wondering how do I find my brand colors, this app is so helpful, super easy to use. So as you can see over here on the side, we've got colorful, we've got bright. So you can click onto different ones, um, muted. Um, and this one isn't changing too much, probably because the photo has a lot of the same kind of colors in it. Um, but I'm gonna actually upload a, another photo. So we're gonna click uh, new here, extract theme. Let's see, replace the image. And I'm going to also upload this one because this one has a little bit more turquoise colors to it as well. So as I click around to colorful and bright, and muted and deep, you can see all of these different kind of colors come about. So I kind of like the colorful one. And let's say I see a color in one of these photos, but it's not actually naturally selecting it. You can actually drag one of these little guys to the color that you're thinking. So 
As you can see, I'm kind of moving it around and I'm able to select the colors that I really like. Now let's go back over to my Pinterest board and maybe let's not pick an actual photo. Let's pick one that has a little bit more of these colors to it. So we're gonna do this. Again, we're gonna save that image, save it and we will go upload it over here. Now this has a little bit more of a solid color base to it because just the image has more colors versus uh, you know, a photo is gonna have just a lot of variance in it. This has a little bit more color because it's more of a painting. So as you can see, it's already pulling all of those colors and oh my gosh, I love this one, the colorful one. So maybe what I could do here is I could save this color wheel if I want to. You can just click save here and it'll actually let you save it in. You just have to create a username, create an account, but it'll actually actually save it for you, which is something that's really cool. Another thing you can do is you can also just screenshot this, but one thing too is if you go over to the color wheel, it lets you see the hex codes for these colors. Now this is really important because we're going to use it in our next app that we're gonna talk about. So now that you kind of have played around with your photos, you've got your color palettes going, now we're gonna go on to our very last piece of software. Okay, so now we're on to my favorite piece of software that I probably use all the time, it's Canva. Now the cool thing about Canva is it's totally free and they do have an upgraded version which I purchased but honestly you don't need to have that. You can totally use the free version, test it out, see if you like it and if you want to upgrade you can always do the pro version as well. But the cool thing about this is they also have a phone app that actually works really good. They've made so much improvements to the phone app and I actually really like it now. So what we're going to do is I've already opened up an image in Canva so I selected just an Instagram image and one thing that I really like about Canva is they have all of these free templates over here. So um, I just clicked the little template button up here. And as you can see, there are so many amazing templates that you can use to create graphics, to create Instagram stories, to create so many things on your page. So let's say that I actually wanted to create a mood board one. So I'm going to just type in the word mood board. Oops. Of course, I gotta spell it correctly. But here's an idea of how you could create your own mood board on Canva. So this is a great way to take what you've curated in uh, Pinterest and put it over here in your mood board. So I kinda like this one. I had also selected some other ones um, in my recently used, just because they fit a little bit more of my brand. Um, but here is an example. Let's see here. I like this one. Now, of course, the template that they have has all of their images, has all of their colors, has all of their fonts, but this is a really great way to get started if you're not quite sure what is my brand or how do I find the fonts a lot of times these templates are really great ways to get started so um, I can just go over here and change out the colors I've already uploaded all of my colors into Canva and the reason why is because I have a pro account but if you don't you just upload the colors. so let's go back to that uh, color wheel that we picked out over on Adobe color and I really like this peach color so I'm gonna take this little number right here this is called the hex code and we are gonna copy copy it and I'm going to click right here and just add a document color and we're going to paste that in and bam, now I just changed the background to that color. So if I wanted to change out all of these little dots right here to my new colors, I could totally do that. And I can also switch out all of these photos um, and replace them with photos from my mood board over in Pinterest. So this is just a really cool way. They also have tons of little elements like these little graphics that you can use, um, tons of like little doodles and all of that kind of fun stuff. So I definitely recommend, I'm not gonna show you all the way through Canva because this isn't a Canva training, but go around, look around in Canva, see all of these little fun things. And like I said, a lot of times they are absolutely free. So let's add this in, you know, you could make it bigger, you can size it. But one thing that I wanted to talk about is fonts because I know sometimes trying to find a font is really hard and trying to find good fonts can also be hard too. So if you click right here, this already has a font uploaded into it and it really does fit the aesthetic of this image. So as you scroll over, there are a ton of fonts. Now this is a premium font that's already selected. So if you have a free account, it won't let you use this font, but you can upload your own fonts and there's a ton of really great free fonts in here as well. So as you start to scroll through, there's so many, in fact, 
so many it can sometimes be a little overwhelming, but I encourage you just to scroll around and check out all of the free fonts that are here inside Canva and just play around and find what you like. So as you can see, it is really easy to create a brand mood board specifically for your brand using Pinterest, using Adobe Color, and using Canva. These are all free tools and it really makes it easy to help you design that Instagram brand. So I hope that that walkthrough was really helpful for you just to get you inspired and start turning the wheel on what your Instagram brand could look like. Now, before we go and before we finish up this video, I wanted to talk about how to actually incorporate what you created in your brand mood board onto Instagram. So there's tons of ways to incorporate your brand elements, your colors, and your fonts into your Instagram, but here are some ideas. So the first one is elements in your Instagram stories or in your photos. As you can see, I incorporate a lot of cactus, whether it's in the background of my photos um, or sometimes even just a story upload or just deserty types of things, beach types of things. Those are big brand elements that I have as part of my brand on Instagram. And I guarantee you now that I've told you that, you're gonna notice it even more. You can also incorporate your Instagram colors in things like your Instagram stories, in your Instagram real cover photos, in your Instagram highlights, and even in things like your outfits that you wear in your photos or accessories that you use in your hair photos. So this is a really great way to incorporate Incorporate those brand colors so throughout your Instagram page, your brand can start to come together. And lastly, you wanna incorporate your fonts as well. So this could be on different graphics that you make inside of Canva, or it could even be on your Instagram stories. Now I know that maybe in your Instagram stories, you don't have the exact fonts when you're typing it out, but I want you to pick one or two fonts that you stick with and stay consistent with it. Find one of the fonts that feels the most connected to you. And that's what I've done on my Instagram stories. And when you see my Instagram, Instagram stories, you're gonna see that I consistently use similar fonts in every single one of my stories so that it stays consistent. And you know, when you see one of my stories, it looks like a Jamie Dana story. And last but not least, I wanted to share with you how I incorporated this brand mood board into my actual salon. So this is just a little bulletin board that I got and I printed out a lot of the photos that I had on my Pinterest board and I pinned them here in the back room. So I actually store this over there next to my mirror. I just hang it up on the wall. Not only does it look really cool for, you know, the back room, gives it a little bit of something artistic, a little bit more of a vibe back here, uh, but it also just reminds me of my brand. So maybe when I'm taking photos of my clients or when I'm getting ready to post an Instagram story, I have this brand mood board to refer back to and it just helps me stay consistent and it just kind of gets me a little bit more inspired. So I would absolutely encourage you to create a brand mood board like this. I just got these photos printed off, uh, nothing fancy, just pinned them to a bulletin board. So it's super fun to make something like this and it also just keeps that reference for you all the time so that you're always thinking about it. Well, I hope that this video was helpful for you and before we go, one thing that I would love for you to do is I would love for you to comment down below one light bulb moment you had from watching this video. So maybe it was something about Canva or the Adobe Color or even printing out your photos and putting them on a mood board. So let me know one light bulb moment you had from this video in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback to make sure that I'm providing education that's helpful for you. And I just want you to be able to rethink through your mind as you watch this video, what was the most helpful thing and write it down. And if you were inspired by this video, come on over to Instagram, send me a DM, let me know if you end up making a mood board on a bulletin board, uh, send me a DM. I want a picture of it. So I want to see exactly what you're creating. Send me a picture of your mood board and just come over to Instagram and say hi. And last but not least, if you're needing a little bit more help planning out your Instagram and you feel like, okay, now I have my mood board, but I actually need content ideas and caption ideas and I never know exactly what to post. Now I have the visual side, but I don't know exactly what to post. I want you to check out my social stylist plan. So I created this specifically for hairstylists and salon owners who don't know what to post, who just want somebody to tell them exactly what to post every single day. And inside the social stylist plan, it literally tells you exactly what to post on Instagram so that you don't have to think about it. And it's gonna help you plan your next three to six months worth of content in under three hours. So literally you could sit down, plan out your Instagram content. Now that you have your mood board, you have all your colors, you could literally plan out your content so that you don't have to think about it for the next 
next three to six months. And the best part is you don't have to have all of that content ready because inside of it, there's actually bonuses that give you stock photos and caption templates. So it's really done for you. And the best part about the social stylist plan is it's 27 bucks. So I created that specifically for hairstylists like you who are wanting to take their Instagram to the next level, but are just feeling a little overwhelmed with all of the content and creation and having to think of all of these ideas. I took all of that away from you. So you don't have to think about it. And I gave you the social styles plan to make it easy. So if you want to check that out, I have it linked down in the description box below and I hope that it helps you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you on Instagram and I cannot wait to see what mood boards you create. I'll see you next time.